Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in the previous problem, we have drawn the projection of square pyramid where the base of uh, the edge or side of the base was in HP. In this particular case, there is a corner of base in HP. So in this particular case, our right hand side of the true shape of base will be a corner. Okay. So how we are going to do that? Repeat the same step. Select polygon here. Okay. Number of side is four. Then select below button. Then select edge. Okay, now I am selecting any point on the basically screen. Okay, and now I have need to draw right uh, a square pyramid. Like first, first of all, what I will do? I will draw the true shape of the base, like we have done in the previous problem. So one AutoCAD unit is the side of the pyramid. Okay, and the rotation angle will be 45 degrees. So now you can check this is basically right the uh, square pyramid right so now what we are going to do is we are going to basically okay draw the vertical line means the slant edges basically okay phase escape okay and now immediately what you need to do is basically you need to convert this particular dimensions into you know point Okay. So now you can uh, check that. So this is basically a square pyramid which is rested on one of the corner of uh, base of in HP. Okay. So now I am going to give the uh, name it to the text. Select any point on the screen. Rotation angle is 0 0.1 0. Okay. This is my A. This particular point is my B. This is my point C. This is my point D. Remaining steps will be same, okay, as you have done in case of uh, uh, pressure of square pyramid where it is rested on base edge or side of base in HP, okay. Now, the press escape, okay, and this is basically the true shape of the base. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, project the line, okay, perpendicular projection. So, select ortho. So one of the projector, okay. This is second projector line. This is basically the third uh, projector line. Okay, then press escape. Okay. Now this is basically your uh, base of the up uh, square of uh, pyramid. Okay. So I'm converting this base into again 0.30. Okay, so that is visible okay and now I got three different points so if you are having practice you, if you are not uh, drawing this particular point that is also okay okay so now I am giving name it uh, any point on the screen okay point one and rotation angle is zero so this is basically my a dash this particular point is my uh, B uh, dash and D dash. This particular point is my basically C uh, dash, and here also it will be P dash. Okay, because uh, the base of the pyramid will be uh, which will be passing through the central axis will be P uh, dash. Okay, and this is basically the true shape of the base okay and now i am going to draw the true shape of a uh, solid okay now the height is given how much press escape height is given how much the height is 75 mm okay so from here basically i am going to draw a 75 mm line okay so now what we need to do is basically we need to uh, basically rotate this particular uh, true shape of the solid by uh, you know 60 degree because the axis of the pyramid is inclined 30 degrees to HP right right so so now what I am going to do is right uh, I am going to select this particular uh, the front view of the uh, pyramid right and press control C or you can check control C here also copy and then you can paste that okay so now you need to place anywhere okay on the xy line so i am placing here okay so let's see now it is little bit 
aside so you can move that particular figure okay so right click and then select on the move okay and then uh, press it okay now I need to basically rotate this particular base by 60 de degree then only this axis O dash P dash will be uh, inclined 30 degree to X Y so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this particular line or uh, this particular figure okay I'm going to select rotate command right back clicking right click on the mouse right and now I am selecting the base point along which I need to basically rotate this particular uh, figure okay so I am selecting this particular endpoint because uh, my pyramid is rested on the corner okay so now once I did this basically so I need to he is asking us for you know the angle the rotation angle okay so I am basically selecting minus 60 degree okay so now you can check so this particular uh, true shape of the solid basically is now inclined at 60 degrees so for your understanding i am skipping the angular dimensions okay i am selecting uh, this particular point and this particular line you can check this is 60 degree right and the axis again dimensions go to angular select the axis and this particular x y line okay so this is uh, 30 degree incline okay which will which is satisfying our uh, required conditions okay i am converting into a uh, cyan color close it okay select these dimensions converted into cyan okay press escape okay so now what you need to do is basically you need to project uh, the projector so you select line okay so from this particular point and select or Okay, because we need a perpendicular projector so from this particular point you can draw one projector select again line from this particular point you can draw another projector this escape from this particular point you can draw another projector okay this escape and from particular point O dash basically you can draw another uh, projector then press escape similarly from point B you can draw projector projector again from point uh, A and C you can draw horizontal projector again from point D you can draw another uh, projectors okay so now I am converting all the projections line into CR color okay Now, what I need to do is I need to mark the point. Okay, so this is A dash line. Okay, and here is the A. So this is my particular point A, right? Similarly, this is my B dash and D dash line. So where is D dash? So this is my D dash, and this is my particularly B dash. Okay. Again, from this particular point, this is P, and here also P. So this is my uh, pyramid uh, center. Okay. This is C dash line and this is C, so here is my particular uh, point, right? Uh, C dash, okay? And now, basically, this is my A dash point and this is my, oh, sorry, O dash line and this is also O dash line, so this is basically my O dash, okay? So, once you mark the point, what you need to do, you need to convert or uh, basically join all the outer uh, points, okay? Why a line? Okay, press okay. So immediately convert this particular line into point three zero. Okay. Then, so now what we need to do is basically we need to uh, join the particular line edges okay so here also you can join okay from this particular point and this particular point is a line basically right and <coughs> this will be your imaginary line because this cannot be uh, seen okay so what you can do you can convert this particular line into imaginary line by selecting uh, dash two. okay and now what we can do is basically you can give the uh, 
naming okay and convert this particular thing into point at three, uh, zero okay go to dtext command press enter select any point on the screen uh, height is point one and rotation angle is zero okay and now you can do the name so this is basically my a1 and uh, this will be my d1 this particular point is o1 and here you can see this particular point this is my particular uh, point uh, c1 okay and this particular point you can see is basically uh, p1 and here basically this is my particular uh, p1 and this is basically my top uh, view right then this escape okay so this is how the solution looks like for the projection of square pyramid which is rested on a corner so if you like this video please like share and uh, subscribe okay